April the 18th, and it's currently 9.32 in the morning, and I'm getting ready to go ahead and get myself ready for work because we have a long day of appointments today for me, not for my clients. Did that make sense? I have a lot of appointments today to get prepared for, to get ready to go out of town. So y'all know one thing about me. I'm never home. I'm never sitting still. Like, sitting still and being home is just like out of my vocabulary. So I don't think we're all expecting anything other than Tommy traveling every day of the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and get myself ready to leave out the house because I don't want to be in here that much longer because I need to go ahead and make my way to work because where I live now, my job, it's pretty far. But let's go ahead and get ready for work today. some breakouts right here and you got like some dark marks right here from bumps and stuff but i have like a lot of like blackheads so i was thinking about giving myself a facial today before my last appointment but i don't think i'm gonna have time for my clients from 12 to 12 30 and then my appointment is at 2 i think i think i might just give myself like some extractions on my nose because i need the steamer for that so I might just do that and then come home and get out of my facial today or tomorrow. I don't know I have a lot of things to do to get ready for this trip. But let's go ahead and do my skincare routine pretty quick. Keep it as simple today. Cleanser, moisturizer, toner, SPF. That's it, that's all. outside like and you just know your allergies getting ready to start acting up that's how it was for me when i was living at my house like these past couple of days my allergies have been on a hundred like i don't know what's going on like i have bad allergies but usually they be like cool like sometimes they be okay but this week it's just been like non-stop like irritation in my eyes my nose running my throat itching but I can smell the grass. I just know my allergies are getting ready to start bothering me. But I took Claritin yesterday. I don't remember what time it was. And you're not supposed to take like more than one within a 24 hour span. And I don't remember the time I took this today. But the minutes 
the minute I get to sneezing or anything, oh, I'm taking a Claritin. Like, I, I, I just can't do it. Anyways, y'all, so, summer is coming. Like, summer is before us. Literally, summer is coming up within, I think, the next couple of weeks. I don't know when the first day of summer is, but I know it's coming up soon. Even if not, the weather is breaking. It is getting hot outside. Like, it is no need for no jackets no more. Shorts, crop tops, sundresses, flip flops, bathing suits, two piece, all that. That is the time now. I'm about to miss my time. One second. Let me get over. Yeah, like I was saying, the weather is breaking. And lately, I have just not been in my bad bitch air. Like, I've been literally rocking my hair natural. I haven't had no nails, no lashes. I haven't been putting on no looks for the girls. Like, literally nothing. I have not been in my bad bitch air. And if we're being completely honest, I really don't like that. Like, I don't like it. My last picture that I posted was on my birthday. My birthday was February the 10th. It is April the 18th. March, April. I haven't posted in two months. People are probably like, what is wrong with this girl? Like, is she, like, like, what's up? Like, you feel me? And it's just like, I just haven't had the chance to, like, get cute and go out and take photos. Because I've just been so busy. And I just already know, like, <laughs> as you continue to elevate, it's only going to get worse in your life because you're going to be so busy and not going to have time to, like, Oh, get cute and take pictures. Like I know my mom, she'd be like, I'm a mom, like I don't take pictures. And I'm like, what you mean? She'd be like, I don't have time to like, you know, get dressed, get cute, and like, you know, do stuff like that to take pictures. And I'm like, damn, like, is that really how it's gonna be? Because shit, like, I'm an influencer, I'm the brand, like, I gotta get up and take pictures. Especially now, I have two like major clothing collabs. And y'all know me, I don't really do like clothing collabs. But now that they see me, they want me to, like, do these collabs. And, like, they're not, like, no skimp clothing brand. They're, like, major. Like, heavy on a major. Y'all will see it um, whenever I drop the collab with them and stuff like that. Like, yeah, like, I just haven't been feeling, like, my natural bad bitch self. And all of that shit ends today. So, I'm getting ready to go out of town on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So, of course, I have a bunch of appointments lined up. So today, I have lashes and my nail appointment. Yesterday, I just got a wax. And like, you know the usual, my aunt waxed me. Woo, 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 woo. Nothing to really film because you can't see anything anyway. But I did go to my wax appointment. And honestly, I'm thinking about switching from, laser, from waxing to get laser hair removed. Because even though I'm an esthetician myself, that waxing shit, it, it hurts. I hate getting waxed. Like, the feeling is just like, ugh. But the results are literally immaculate, so get up. But I'm thinking about getting laser because, like, why not? Like, yeah, today is a lash appointment and a nail appointment. Tomorrow I get my hair done. So that's literally all the appointments that I have is just nails, hair, lashes, and that's it. And I'm going to do a facial when I get to my shop because I'm actually going to get there way earlier than I expected to. So that's good. So I think I'm gonna just do my extractions on my nose and I'm gonna do some high frequency and I'm gonna take what I need from my shop with me home today and I'll just do my facial like at the house, like exfoliate, cleanse, mask. So super excited. I'm excited for the trip this um, week because it's fight week. Um, and y'all know like fight week is big, especially in Vegas. So it's definitely going to be a time I'm going to have a ball. So I'm really excited to film this video with you guys. Let me know how y'all been liking the content so far because I have been switching it up. Like I've been throwing in like some sit down videos um, here and there because I realized that I was just doing strictly vlogging. And I'm a vlogger, but people like me for me. They like my personality. And I'm not saying if you just vlog, you don't have a personality, but when you are versatile with your content people can really see more of you they can see who you really are like you know people love me for me because i show who i am in different aspects like i can do multiple things like everybody can't prank call everybody can't be funny i'm naturally funny um i can vlog too like i can do a lot of things so i need to really incorporate that into my channel and that's what i'm going to start doing more so again let me know in the comment section below how y'all like the comment bitch what 
Let me know in the comment section below how y'all like the new content. I've been feeling it, so I hope you guys are feeling it too. Comment down um, some videos y'all want to see from me, because I'm sure I get it popping. So, I'm on my way to work. I'll be there in a couple minutes, and I will talk to y'all once we get there so we can start doing this mini extractions and this, this mini facial period. Alright, y'all, so I'm at my shop now, and I am getting ready to go ahead and extract and high frequency my face. It's 1048. My client is at 12, so I got a little bit of time. I also... It's a surgical store near my shop, so they sell like all medical supplies. So I went and bought a scalpel blade because I'm going to dermaplane my face later on today. So that is just like exfoliation and it's removing like the peach fuzz, the dead skin cells and stuff. So I kind of started on this side, but I'll do that later. But I'm going to go ahead and start extracting my nose. I'll be using this multi-active scaling gel from Dermalogica. I love this stuff. Some people don't like it. I know a few of like my fellow classmates and stuff. They was like, I don't like the scaling gel. And I'm like, I don't know why y'all don't like it. Y'all must not be using it right because every time I use it on my clients and stuff, it always works for me. So I'll put this on and then I'm gonna just sit under the steam for a little while. I'm gonna go ahead sit under the steam. Oh, I should have had this gel warming up. I forgot. This is my handy daddy steamer. That's why I couldn't do this at my house. This is a big contraction and I can't bring this home. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I just got done my extractions on my nose. I got majority, but I couldn't get like all of them because they're being pretty stubborn, which is how my nose usually is. But I did get a lot of them, so I'm super happy about that. My nose hurts a little bit, but I'm about to high frequency this real quickly because it is now 11.32 and I need to go ahead and get ready for my client at 12. I'm going to leave out of here and go get my lashes done. So I'm about to just put some niacinamide serum on my pimple. Niacinamide is really good for like breakout. If you don't know how high frequency does, high frequency, it helps like make this pimple go down and not make it like become a pustule and stuff like that. So let it dry before I shock my fucking self and then get to work. Did I just say I did stink? Because this stopped. All right, y'all. So I'm done waxing my client. It is now 12:37. My appointment is at two o'clock. So to kill some time, I'm getting ready to go in here and go into Ulta because I do need to go in here anyway to get. Um, I want to try a different foundation because the one that I have, I don't think it's doing what it needs to be done. Like my makeup. This like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's like, it's just not hitting the way that I want it to hit. And I will be doing my makeup when I go out of town this weekend for the fight. I'm trying to decide if I really want to do a face or not for the fight or not, because if my shit come out looking mad, like terrible, I'm going to be mad. But if it come out looking good, then I'm going to be glad. But right now, my makeup be like a hit or miss sometimes. Like eight times out of 10, it's going to look good, but then there's that two percent where it's just like um days it don't be looking good you feel me so i'm gonna go in here and probably talk to one of the people in there to help have them help me because it's like i don't know how to describe my makeup like i'm gonna show them a picture of it it's like one day it look good one day it look bad so hopefully they can help me and i'll let y'all know what i spend what i leave i'm not spending a bunch of money that, that's that's not the question but we are gonna go and we're gonna buy something something for sure Okay, y'all, so I'm just now leaving out of Ulta, and I got everything that I needed. I feel super satisfied. Lock y'all doors so I do anything. I feel super satisfied by what I bought because I just feel like it's going to make a huge difference in my makeup routine. So I just picked up this Morphe foundation, and, like, this is, like, the exact shade of my skin. Like, if that makes sense. It just blended in so seamlessly. Like, you couldn't even tell that it was foundation on it. Like, it was a perfect match. So, I have one of the um, MUAs and all to help me out 
because I was telling her how I felt like my makeup looks ashy, like when I put it on or whatever. And then she was showing me, like, you know, baking powders and stuff like that. So I picked up this Revolution Banana Baking Powder. She showed me the Fenty one in the shade Honey. I told her I'm not spending $40 on Fenty baking powder. But she was saying, like, you know, that's probably why it looks ashy because it's too light. So I was like, hmm that makes sense so she also told me like it's getting really hot outside so don't bake because it's going to crease so she was like just put it on and then if it still looks ashy like put um some bronzer on it. and then she also said this is like no flashback so yeah that's what i want i don't need no flashback i'm excited to try that stuff out um when we go to vegas i'm gonna probably do my makeup like the first day just to see how it looks because i don't want to do my makeup today or tomorrow, because tomorrow's Wednesday and I leave Thursday morning. Damn, I leave like literally in like one day. But yeah, I only spent $29, which is a really good price for that. So I'm excited. I am really excited and I'm really satisfied with my purchase. I haven't been spending too much money this week. And usually before a trip, I do, but not today. But all right, so let me go ahead and put in the address to my brow appointment not my brow appointment where am i going get my lashes done it's only 20 minutes away so i'm gonna get there pretty early like really early <laughs> so i'll probably stop and go do something like get something to eat maybe no i'm not hungry i'm just saying get something to eat because i'm bored and i don't need to, i need to stop eating when i'm bored so I'm gonna just make my way and then I'll text her to see if, like if she want me to like if she's ready for me to come early. If not, then I'll just go find something to do. I'm putting some hydro quarters on my face right now because when I was done replanting my shit, it's like I think I skinned myself. Well, not bad, but like you know, just a little tiny bit. And being an aesthetic student, this taught me to like keep hydrocortisone on you at all times. I don't go nowhere with I without hydrocortisone. And then on top of that, I do have a peanut allergy. So sometimes certain foods and stuff may trigger my peanut allergy. So I'll start to break out and I'll just apply my cream and I'll be good. But all right, so I will talk to y'all once we get to our last appointment. Yeah, so I'm about to walk into my appointment it's like 1 45 my appointment's at 2 so she let me you know come up early so that's always exciting let's go get these lashes done here's the before number one she's so contagious how Keep does it feel to be still like to feel and not for soupers i've been filming the elevator like what if somebody's already on here and i'm just like and they're like ma'am the camera and that's the reason I'm a bummer. Well, it's the season I should fly. So long. I'm so sedated. And she's so persuasive. This isolation. So sweet you could taste it. It's eight in the morning. Moonlight, y'all be young. And it's three in the morning. And I'm still performing. She's so persuasive. Hey y'all, so the lashes are done. They are really, really, really cute. I didn't film too much today at my appointment just because me and her was talking about some personal things. So I didn't want it to be like, you know, I'm, I, I just don't want that type of bad vibe. But I did get like, you know, a couple snippets here and there. But my lashes look so good. They always look good. Shout out to my girl Yvette at Eloise Aesthetics. Make sure y'all go follow her, book your appointment, and tell her Tommy sent you like so bomb my brows look crazy but they've been growing like kind of weird since that whole like thing happened that's okay i'm gonna learn how to do my brows soon but, um yeah so i got to my daddy house and i'm about to go ahead and get my nails done let me show y'all the inspo for today's set we're going short today but we're going like super classy and we're gonna do french tip white on the toes or just plain white i haven't decided yet but I think I want to do like the French tiptoe. And they're going to be so bomb. Super excited. It's only 3.34. So we're making that one good time. And I, hopefully I'm done here by 8 at least. The latest 8. 
and then you know, let's go. you guys so it is now 10 22 and i'm just now getting in the house it has been a very and i mean extremely long day it's like i'm not exhausted i'm not drained i'm just like tired like i'm tired of driving around all day i'm tired of ripping and running like i'm just like physically i'm tired I, I can't even think straight. I'm so tired, I can't even think straight. But I need to get some energy, and I need to get it fast, because I have a lot to do in one night, because tomorrow, it's crunch time. Like, tomorrow, I have a long day tomorrow, and I have to also pack all of my shit, and it's the last day before I leave. But tonight, I have to wash and blow dry my hair. Y'all know that is a task in itself. I have to wash my clothes. I have to finish editing this video just so freaking much that I, that I gotta get done also got some packages that came in the mail today while i was out so i need to put them outfits together but i'll do that tomorrow like tomorrow i have a hair appointment at one and i have like five clients tomorrow i don't understand like why all of my clients wanted to book on the day that i like need the most time to prepare but it is what it is. My last client is at 6. So be done her. Probably like 6.20. Leave. Come home. And then just spend the day like strictly like trying on outfits. Putting together stuff. And you know making the shit work. But let me show y'all my nails and my toes. Because they're super cute. And of course my stepmom she always snaps. Nails. Please stop playing so much. Like. They are too freaking cute. I can't wait to get like my ring on my finger. Per. And here is the toes to match. You know, we got the French tips going on. But alright, so my camera battery needs to charge. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to think what should I do first. I'm gonna put these clothes in a washing machine, then I'm gonna wash my hair. And I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, and then once I'm finished that, I'm gonna edit this video. And try to bang out the rest of the night or whatever. So, morning, you guys. Hope you all are going to have an amazing day. It is like, it should be like 8 o'clock on the dot now. I just got out the shower. I just got up. I just got dressed. And I just got finished washing my hair. I know it's not last night that I was going to wash my hair. Yeah, that didn't happen because I was so tired. And I was trying to figure out like my priorities, like what I need to get at first. And that was edit that video because today I'm not gonna have like any time to sit up there like I just did last night and finish editing it. Everything else is pretty much done. So I was like, I'm gonna get up early in the morning and I'm gonna wash and put on my hair. Then I'm gonna leave and go to work. Take out my scrubs on. I got my glasses on today because my allergies are kicking my ass, y'all. And I told y'all, like, I wear contacts, so my eyes get super, like, dry, and my contacts start to, like, shift in my eyeballs. If you wear contacts and you got eyes, you know, but if you don't, then you probably don't understand what I'm talking about. But, yeah, so, it's, I'm rocking the glasses for today because I just don't even feel like. But I'm about to go ahead and blow dry my hair really quickly. We have a hair appointment at 1 o'clock. For a remainder of the day, I'm going to be at work. I have two clients, um, one at 10 and one at 10.30. Then, um, I'm going to probably go get something to eat during that little break and then go to my hair appointment. After my hair appointment, I have, like, three clients after that. So, I won't get home until later on today, but...
All right, y'all, so my hair is all blow dried now. I'm about to just apply my oil. This is my holy grail. This stuff works like hell. If you don't have some, you need to freaking get some. Which I know I cut my hair recently. So this is like an update on it and how long it is. When it comes to like length, I don't really care about the length. I just care about like the healthiness of my hair. But I do wanna say is my hair feels super, super thick and like fuller now. Today I'm getting a, a traditional install just to relieve my hair from all the wigs and all the wig promos. Like y'all know, like in the summer, not summertime, in the winter time, that's when I'm doing like all my wig promos. But this summer, nah. I'm trying to think what else before I go ahead and do my morning routine off camera. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys when I get to my hair appointment because there's nothing else <laughs> to talk about. We finished all the maintenance and I'm just going to go to work and work until it's time for me to leave. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and wash my face, brush my teeth, and then head out the door. And I'll talk to y'all later when it's time to go to my hair appointment. Yeah, hey so I just made it to my hair appointment. It is 12-12. Um, I got here at 11.50, but she texted me and told me to get, like, a wig cap. So, I just went to the store to go get one of those. Not a wig cap, like, you know, a little sewing cap. So, I went to the store to go get one of those really quickly. And now I'm about to go in here and go get my hair done. Uh, I'm debating if I want to get, like, a middle part or a side part. Because I don't really know. Like, middle part is easier to maintain. Well, I'm going to get, like, a two part so I can change my part up. I don't know. I haven't had a leave out since last year, so. Like damn, she her move. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she her move. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my beans. Like a million views in a day. It's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they plump. She a baddie, she know she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. Hi you guys, welcome back. As you all can just saw, I just got my hair. Well, I finished getting my hair done a couple of hours ago. But now I am back home. It is like 11:30, going on midnight, and I'm currently in my room packing, trying to make sure I have everything. But I definitely wanted to give myself a facial or a mini facial before I go out of town. So I'm gonna just do my nighttime skincare slash facial with you guys before. I go to bed well before I close out the video because I did say I was going to do it. I'll be using the Tula Skincare Super Comp. Um, it's like a cleansing milk, so that'll be my cleanser. It's really going to be super basic. My mushroom toner and for my serum, well, it's not a serum, but I'll be using this Hydro Boost Gel Cleanser. And for my mask, I'll be using the Conductive Mask Base from Dermalogica. And I decided that I am going to finish dermaplaning on my base. So I got this scalpel right here ready to go. By the way, y'all, my girl Taya, she did an amazing job, like, on my hair. And I went to work, so as soon as I got home, I just literally put my flexi rods in it because I didn't want to risk having my hair get messed up or anything like that. So that's why I have my bonnet on and my rollers. And for two, I'm about to get ready to sew the baby because I literally have 
a flight I gotta catch early in the morning. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog Vegas trip. Like, I really don't know. I'm thinking about it, but then it's like, I don't know. But I'm thinking about it, then it's like, mm, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. So, I'll just go ahead and squirt this cleanser in my face. Being installed, I'm an esthetician. I tried, let me take my glasses off. I tried um, different brands and different cleansers on my face just because there are so many like skincare brands and stuff like that. And I want to like be able to like know, like if my clients be like, oh, I use this, I want to be like, what's that? I want to be able to like, you know, have some type of knowledge in different types of brands and different skincares and stuff like that. But this Tula brand skincare, this is like, I really like this product. I really love products that have like, milk or like rice and stuff like that because those are just like all hydrating ingredients and i love them like i said yeah i'm not doing a whole you know ouch routine or nothing like that but my face is clearing up after i've started to take care of it again because not gonna lie, I have been slacking. Like I told y'all, I started breaking out because my makeup brushes were dirty. And that never has happened to me before. Now I'm getting ready to dermal plan my face. But first, I'm just gonna put some toner on because I don't wanna do it dry. And also, y'all, I'm not telling you guys to do any of this at home. Just FYI, don't. Like, just because you see me doing it. I went to school, I completed my hours, I'm getting ready to do my board. Please don't try to copy off me. <laughs> and you know, say, oh, I saw Professor Tommy do it, so I'm gonna try it. Absolutely not. No, please don't do that. Even my glasses on first because I can't see it. I don't want to slice my face open. So I'm just going to do like this side, my peach fuzz, and like probably like clean up my forehead a little. Alright y'all, so I just got finished doing thing my face. It didn't take me that long, being as though it's my face and I'm not, like, you know, scared to maneuver on my own face. But if it was somebody else, this would have took me, you know, way longer. But my face feels really, really smooth right now. And this is also going to help with, like, product penetration because, you know, it's another form of exfoliation. But now I'm going to just put on my favorite mask. And this is the basic conductive mask. This is a really hydrating mask by Dermalogica. Like, it's super good. I usually use this um, with the Dermalogica multivitamin power recovery, uh, recovery mask. But I'm not really going for like a glow, really. Even though when I do my skincare, it gives me a glow anyway. I'm really just going for hydration because I'm about to go somewhere that's really, really hot. So, yeah. So, I got my face mask on. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, while this is on, I'm going to finish watching Love is Blind because I'm addicted. I don't understand why nobody told me about this show a long ass time ago. Like, it is so good, it's so interesting. But, when I come back from doing, when this is done, I am going to just put on more toner and lock in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So, ciao. Okay, so I've let my face mask marinate on my skin. Now I'm just about to remove. Oh my god, my skin feels so freaking smooth, y'all. Like, you can feel it through the washcloth. Yeah, I probably don't know what I'm talking about, but you can literally like feel how soft my skin is. I'm getting ready to shower. 
make sure everything is packed, um, pack my purse, charge my iPad, upload my YouTube video, make sure that all of that stuff is good because I will be on the plane when it actually drops and I'll be on a different time zone. So, yeah, I'm about to apply this Neutrogena Hydro Boost to lock it in. And just to have some more moisture in my skin. And I kind of just like wet my product off a little bit. But I'll be okay. This is so hydrated, so clean, so good. We love that. But you guys, you reached the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. I love y'all so, so, so very much. Make sure y'all come back next week or my next uploading day. I upload every two, every Thursday and Sunday. And yeah, 5 o'clock p.m. all day long. I love it all day long. I upload every Thursday and Sunday at 5 p.m. So make sure you come back to tune in to my next video. I love y'all.